Circuit made stops at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Meadows in Pennsylvania, just outside Pittsburgh, and now the Illinois State Fair, where the Grand Circuit has been bringing the best that harness racing offers on a national level to the Illinois State Fair. It's been coming here for several decades. This is the review stake for two-year-old pacing fillies for a $40,000 purse. Number one is Color Me Beachy, owned by W Springtime Racing Stables of Johnstown, New York, trained by Matthew Tadero, Mike Lachance in the bike. Number two is Beach Boys Lady, owned by John Allen of Pennsylvania, trained by Steve Waller, John Campbell is up. Three, Monterey, owned by Cario Stable, George Stokas, and John Coleopolis, the latter of Bridgeview, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Number four, Quartster, owned by MGC Group Incorporated of Ada, Michigan, trained by Merle LaFontaine, Dale Heitman is the driver. And number five, Never in Paris, is owned by Brian Penske Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, by Penske Stables of Plato, Minnesota, trained by Brian Penske, Eric Ledford, fresh from his win in the Hambletonian Trotting Classic at the Meadowlands here at the Illinois State Fair to drive this two-year-old pacing filly in today's fifth race. Post time in less than five minutes. Harness racing officials for years have sought to bring not only the best Illinois breads, but as many of the top national performers as possible to Springfield. Here they come for the Grand Circuit 2002. They're off in pacing. Color Me Beachy for the lead. Monterey gets out second, followed by Beach Boys Lady, who ducks over toward the inside in third. Quartster comes away racing in fourth, and Never in Paris settles in fifth at the back. Monterey is parked. Everyone else is placed toward the inside, and Color Me Beachy has the lead by a length. There goes Monterey, moving up with a rush to take the lead before the quarter-mile mark. Moving around the first turn, Monterey is on top by a length and a half. Color Me Beachy goes second by two. Then Beach Boys Lady, 29 and three for the opening quarter. Courtster is fourth. Never in Paris is fifth. They're single file as they move up the back stretch. Monterey is on the lead by a length. Color Me Beachy travels in second. Beach Boys Lady racing in third. Courtster is fourth. Never in Paris fifth. And here comes Color Me Beachy. Beachy out and charging up to get the lead at the half mile mark. Color Me Beachy takes over from Monterey by a length. They hit the halfway point in 57 and four fifth seconds. A gap of four more lengths to Beach Boys Lady, followed by Quartster, and Never in Paris is last at the entry to the far turn. Field starts to bunch up again behind the leader. Color Me Beachy shows the way by one length. Monterey is second by a length, midway on the final turn. Quartster is moving up on the outside third, and here comes Monterey from the number two position. Monterey is up to challenge Color Me Beachy, who still leads it by a neck past the three quarters in 127 and one. Color Me Beachy leads it by a half length off the turn. Monterey is second by two. Then Beach Boys Lady inside of Courtster. Never in Paris is last. Eighth of a mile to come. And Color Me Beachy leads it by a length and a half. Beach Boys Lady needs room toward the inside. Moves up into second past Monterey. It is still Color Me Beachy. Now she gets clear by two. By two and a half. Color Me Beachy wins it by a length and a half. Beach Boys Lady was second. Monterey hung on for third by a nose over Never in Paris, 154 and 1. In the winner's circle for the fifth race, the official winner of the review stake for two-year-old pacing fillies, number one, Color Me Beachy, Mike Lachance with the winning drive. John Cisna and daughter Stephanie Pennington making the presentation of the review trophy and the caretaker's medallion. Matthew Tadero, the trainer, is also his own caretaker today for this Jenna's Beach Boy filly owned by W Springtime Racing Stables of Johnstown, New York, bred by Peninsula Farm Incorporated of Kentucky. Talk to Mike Lachance real quickly. Mike, one of the premier drivers in harness racing. Is it true I read in a bio, did you grow up the son of a cattle farmer? Is that right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. How did you get involved with horses, Mike? Well, my father, had, we had cattle, but uh, we had the resources there. So 
from the, like a young age there. I was always around horses there. And it worked out for the best. Mike, congratulations on the win. Uh, thanks a million. He's a native of Quebec. Mike Lachance, the winning driver in today's fifth race.